special baptism for me, of course. Things will be projected. So, do you have a part as a congregation? There's no background music for us. <laughs> Perfect for a baptism, isn't it? Especially if David cries and everybody thinks he's cute, except for the parents. But, are we set? Gotta go? Alright, let's begin. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us up to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. We present David Ernest Christ for baptism. Called by the Holy Spirit, Trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child baptized into Christ? We do. As you bring your child to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities to live with him among God's faithful people. <coughs> bring him to the Word of God and the Holy Supper. Teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. Place in his hands the Holy Scriptures and nurture, his, nurture him in faith and prayer. So that your child may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, and care for others in the world that God made, and to work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help your child grow in the Christian faith and life? And you do. God parents, you promise to nurture this child in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit, and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church. I do. People of God. Do you promise to support David Ernst Gretz and pray for him in his new life in Christ? We do. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters. And by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. And through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. In the river Jordan your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. <coughs> By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. You be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. David Ernest Rex, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the God, the source of all light, the word of salvation, the spirit of mercy. Let us pray. We give you 
thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain David Ernest Rex with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. David Ernest Rex, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. Amen. Let the light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us welcome this fully baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming words to all the world. 